and welcome to this tutorial on how to set up the Supermatter engine on the def station, uh, on, uh, on the deficiency station, on VG station, uh, space station 13 uh, server. Uh, number one, you're going to want to equip your uh, optical meson scanners. I like to turn them off just because it becomes annoying. Uh, next, you're going to want to grab the rapid piping device and some insulated gloves, otherwise you will electrocute yourself. Now then, make your way over to the Supermatter room, which is over here. And this is the simplest engine to set up in the game. Uh, you want to grab your rapid pipe dispenser, click on pipe, uh, going to set down three horizontal sections of pipe and one vent pipe. Now what this does it is it allows the ex exhaust gas from the uh, supermatter engine to be cooled and thus not ignite. Uh, you also want to make sure that uh, these filters are set to 4,500 uh, kilopascals each. Otherwise, uh, they will stop functioning once they reach uh, the limit and the uh, system will overheat. Uh, we're also, uh, this engine also uh, works on uh, oxygen as a coolant, so you're going to want to wrench down a canister of oxygen, uh, turn on this uh, gas pump. And to 4,500 kilo, kilopascals. Also, do the same here. Uh, meanwhile, you want to wrench down these radiation collectors, which uh, for some reason begin, begin in, in the game unwrenched. Grab some plasma tanks over here. I think I want six of them. Grab one and drag the other one. Put them in, turn on the collectors, do the same for the other ones. Da, da, da. We'll be done. Want to wrench these in. Okay. The wrench in your pocket. Okay, there we go. Final two turns. Now you want to turn on the emitter and leave. Now over here on the uh, atmospherics automation console, we want to add a vent pump pressure check and another vent pump pressure check. Uh, you know, want to set one to SM coolant out and this other one to SM coolant in. And you're going to you're gonna want to disable pressure pressure checks for both internal and external. What this does is it allows the no, let me go over there and point it out. What this does is it allows those two uh, vent pumps uh, to function at full capacity. Uh, you can also set them to function up to under certain parameters and keep the chamber at a specific pressure. That's more complicated. Uh, while that, it, while the emitter eats through the shard crate, we're going to go over here to the uh, power storage units. Uh, we're going to set them to maximum, which is 200 kilowatts in, and set them to 150 kilowatts out. Uh, that allows a net uh, storage, uh, a, a net of 50 kilowatts going into storage. And um, so, um, yeah, the capacity will uh, basically functions as a battery in case uh, the engine shuts down. Uh, do the same on the other three. The other two uh, power storage units, and now we wait. 
Uh, as you can see now, uh, it starts blinking. That means that it's charging. Uh, as we can see that there's plasma in the chamber, which means that it is functioning. Go over here to the uh, power monitoring, power monitoring, monitoring computer. Uh, we can see that it's already producing uh, about 300 kilowatts of power. Uh, that will increase as the amount of oxygen in the chamber increases. And I just realized that I forgot to do something. Uh, you're going to want to switch the second filter to nitrogen. Uh, uh, this uh, engine, ideally, uh, this engine works better on oxygen. Uh, the higher the oxygen concentration, the more power, the more radiation it outputs, and the more power is collected at the radiation collectors. Uh, a little bit of a mistake there to have forgotten to switch the filter, but uh, easily remedied. And go back. And we see that uh, Michael is going to build a rust and uh, that will be a separate uh, tutorial. Actually, let's do that now. Uh, we're at 400 kilowatts, more or less. It's good enough for now. Let's go over to the uh, rust uh, area. Sounds good. Let's uh, order Warwick Trigyro Proms. Okay. Now then, the rust engine. Uh, in the death deficiency map, uh, the rust engine is mostly set up. You're going to want to build, uh, construct the rust uh, core control monitoring computer and the gyrotron remote controller. Uh, this other stuff you do not need. Uh, so we can see here, uh, Michael is wrenching down and welding the gyrotrons. Those gyrotrons need to be linked via the multi-tool to the gyrotron remote controller. Uh, the other thing that is necessary here. Uh, we're at it. Let's get some. Uh, while we're at it, let's get some uh, compressed matter cartridges that is needed to build the uh, fuel rods. Uh, let me ask them did we order the Toco Mac and uh, fuel injector and, and fuel compressor circuits. Uh, and then let's check uh, back here on. Uh, we got some broken lights, that's not good. Let's fix that later. Okay, the good thing about this setup is that you can see here we're collecting uh, cold plasma, which is good uh, because you can use it to fill up the uh, chamber. Mm. Uh, let's, this is kind of anemic right now. Now let's, uh, let's add a prism just to increase the output a little bit. It's one of the more fun things that you can do in the game. Uh, uh, emitters require power, so you're going to want to lay down some cable. There we go. Put the tiles back down, otherwise it looks ugly. Now let's get the emitter over here. Uh, wrench it down first. Now you're going to want to weld it. forget to switch off the welding tool and there we go uh, now we got a two emitter uh, super matter engine so you can see that let's go to the power monitoring computer
uh, with two emitters, it actually runs uh, a little bit more power, as you can see. There we go, 350 kilowatts, 378 kilowatts, 398 kilowatts, 413 kilowatts. See, uh, each additional emitter increases the power production slightly. Um, some people like to do really ex exaggerated amounts of emitters uh, for their setups. Uh, that, that really isn't necessary. Oh, uh, I forgot to put on welding tools and I have injured my eyes. Anyways, let's see how it's going here on the rust. Okay, we got the tokamak ordered. And the, yeah, this, yeah, no, yeah, 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 okay, we got to order, uh, let's, let's order, right, yeah. that's what, that's what, that's what, Let's go over to cargo to order what we need. Uh, it doesn't appear to be going any, doesn't appear that anything is happening on the station that we need to be concerned about. So it should be a calm round. Okay. Uh, for the rust, we need the Actually, let's explain what the rust is. Rust is basically a uh, fusion generator. Uh, you're going to need a tokamak core. You also need a fuel injector. That's going to inject it with uh, hydrogen isotopes uh, to fuse. You only need one of those. And we also need uh, five, four gyrotrons. Uh, this gyrotrons increase the strength of the tokamak core uh, containment field and once uh, the faster it reaches fusion temper uh, energy uh, the faster that the engine will go online so you want more uh, what's it called you want more gyrotrons okay let's go back sharp pains in my head because of the unprotected welding, which was my bad. Okay, here we go. Uh, we are going to... Uh, let's uh, ask Gemini to... Uh, Gemini, how about you uh, pipe up the uh, thermal electric generator? Let me suit up so I can show the uh, basic stuff. What's going on outside? Open unit, helmet, suit, mask, boots. There you go. Grab some. Uh, we will need some. Uh, We're going to need some uh, metal rods, and we also need a oxygen canister, which we have over here. Okay, here we go. As we can see, the um, three of the giant rods have been linked already. And uh, somebody is. Hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So cool. I forgot to turn on my internals. Wait, 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 
guy doing? Okay, so this is a very simple, uh, well actually no, it's not very simple. Uh, let's explain how this works. Uh, hot plasma from the field is uh, sucked down by the scrubbers. Those scrubbers then pipe, well let's lay down some pipe here. Uh, those scrubbers then transmit the hot plasma via these pipes over to the hold on, over to the let's finish this uh, over to the thermoelectric generator the input uh, is on bottom so we're gonna lay a one bend pipe here and then an output through the top. All right, so very simple. Hot uh, plasma goes through here, it passes through the machine, then is exhaust out the top. Uh, let's finish. I'll finish it later. Now, on the opposite side, cold plasma enters through the top of the machine and then exits, exits uh, out through the bottom. Heat X is exchanged from the hot side to the cold side, uh, creating energy, which is uh, a legitimate, legitimate method of creating energy. Uh, it actually can be done in real life. Anyway, so let's uh, wrench down this crap. lay down some uh, scaffolding so that we can build a cold loop. There we go, here we go. Uh, now because this machine creates a ridiculous amount of heat, uh, it requires an extreme amount of cooling. Uh, so although this may appear excessive uh, believe me it is not it will uh, it might actually not be sufficient to operate the machine uh, so here we go uh, uh, the coolant the coolant uh, needs a vent pump uh, to flow that's the purpose of the pipe uh, the pump now then, now we get to work on the coolant. Yeah, that uh, uh, The meta on this server is multiple pumps, but uh, it's kind of not necessary. Uh, okay, now then. really excessive amount of heat exchange pipes. Uh, these exchange heat with the atmosphere. Okay, there we go. Oh, wait, uh, we're, gonna, uh, we're gonna do a crisscross uh, pattern here. Become obvious once I start laying the uh, bent pipes down. So uh, don't worry. Uh, here we go. Right, we're gonna go across here, then a bent pipe.
should be using favorites, but it's as we're talking. Oh, okay. uh, so we're going to go across, then we're going to bend over here. there and this is just tedium here so uh, deal with that and luckily yeah that all uh, lines up perfectly okay so finish up the left side off this system here. Okay, now we go and wrench the whole damn thing up. Okay. Wrench. Let's close this. Wrench. Change pipes is clicking on the actual thing. Oh, here we go. French, French, fuck. French, French. Do, do, do. Hmm. What's going on here? There we go. section actually bugged out for some reason. French, French, French. Let's see if we can fix that. That's fucked up. Okay, so here we go. So as you can see, uh, uh, hot uh, plasma is going to exit out the bottom. It's going to travel all through this cooling loop, and it will be pumped into uh, back into the machine. Uh, and so we have a nice clean cooling loop. Uh, on the other hand, we have this hot section here, which. Uh, meanwhile, on the hot side, uh, hot uh, plasma is sucked out through the scrubbers, goes in through the bottom, and then is re-injected after it passes through the thermoelectric generator through the injectors. Yeah, okay, moving on over here. Let's go back inside, see what's going on here with the... Yeah, these people haven't uh, delivered the stuff we need. Oh, here we go. Uh, now then, this is kind of cheating here, but uh, uh, you're, uh, in order to make the fuel rods, you want to uh, set it to 130 units of deuterium and tritium each and add 40 units of dilithium. Now, uh, deuterium and tritium are hydrogen isotopes. Those will uh, fuse in the rust engine. Dilithium is a magic uh, element which will convert the dilithium products back to dilithium and tritium, thus making it a perpetual motion device, basically. It's uh, self-fueled. Uh, with dilithium in the mix, uh, the machine will run forever. Anyways, let's see what's going on here. Oh, here we go. We got our fuel injector. The 
this needs to go to the right of the uh, assembly. Deal with that later. Uh, we have the gyrotrons. Attention, new command report Gyrotron. created. Gyrotron and gyrotron. Goddamn. Here we go, tokamak. Uh, this is the core of the machine. It creates the electromagnetic um, what's it called? containment field for the uh, fusion reactions. This needs to go needs to be wrenched in the middle of the machine uh, of the chamber uh, wrench and then we weld it okay the music goes off okay now uh, the injector needs electricity so we're gonna wire some Electricity to it. Uh, the lithium. Uh, Michael asked, "What's in the assembly?" I put the lithium. Which, yeah, yes. Uh, now we're gonna lay down some cable. says that the rust can run forever without uh, the lithium. I'm not actually sure if that's true. Uh, that what's going on here. Okay, we're gonna turn on the field. Oh, wait. Uh, oh, crap. To add some uh, basic um, automation here, we're going to turn off the power to the injectors and set the injector rate to 200. There we go. Let's seal up the chamber. some more actually let me get a multi-tool because otherwise I'm screwed here uh, yeah there we go multi-tool uh, this is uh, needed to do stuff oh, I'll show you yeah this is how you add more gyrotrons to the machine Attention, new command report created. Okay, you're gonna want to go in from the bottom, uh, wrench them, weld them. Add machine and then go over to the gyrotron monitoring computer. And then use the multi tool on the controller and click link, and it will be linked. Now you can control it. linked to the AAC and scrubbers. Uh, these seem to be 
one two two one. 121, 122.1 gigahertz each. Uh, same should be. Uh, these all look good. 122.1, 122.1, Yeah, it's all good. Now let's. out of here and go inside. Okay. okay, we're going to want to turn on the rust field. Uh, if it's not already maxed out, you want to max out the field density. Then you want to turn on all the drivertrons fast as possible and increase the beam output to 0 0.01 uh, terajoules. Uh, let's go get some more gyrotrons while we're at it. Alright, now over here. Uh, okay, now this is what you want to look at. Uh, each gyrotron that fires increases the field sub mega energy by a set amount. Once it reaches 100,000 uh, sub mega energy, uh, the field mega energy will increase by 0.1. Uh, it, it, you need to get it to. Uh, you need to get it to 1.0 mega energy, and at that point, uh, the reaction will become self sustaining and will not need uh, gyrotrons. Now, we're just going to add more gyrotrons to make the process quicker. Uh, without extra gyrotrons, it will take a long time. Uh, wrench, weld, and multi tool. Flush and add. Do, do, do. For some reason. And we're going to link it. Yeah, that should make it quicker. Get more gyrotrons. And the clown got into engineering. That uh, can happen.
got seven right now. Let's see how we're looking. Uh, we are at 0 0.2 mega energy. That is good. That's good. Anything under 8 is going to take way too long, so don't, you really shouldn't uh, try to do this machine without 8 Gyrotrons. Okay, there we go, 0 0.3 Mega Energy. I'm going to do some stuff. going to add uh, two pipe meters here so that we can monitor the temperature of the uh, input and output uh, gas. Uh, let's see what else. Okay, okay we got uh, gas going in there and gas going in there. linked correctly. Uh, yeah, we can probably switch this on already. So you can see the uh, right, uh, the right thing is already uh, processing at 26% uh, of flow capacity. It's good enough. That's pretty good. Let's go over here. Uh, this looks good. Core looks good. Uh, would have been better to use uh, reinforced plastic glass for this, but whatever. Okay, now then let's go over here and see what the uh, status of this machine is. Uh, 0 0.5. We're already 60% of the way there. Uh, as soon as that reaches one mega energy, we start putting in fuel. Now then, me let's deal with the scrubbers. We're gonna add scrubber power uh, ink out to on. Uh, this guy wants to know if it's time for plasma. Uh, yeah, plasma reduces the mega energy. energy. We, we, uh, we, we don't inject until it reaches one. Uh, we're also going to add scrubber gases, ink out. To only input, uh, to only process plasma. Uh, it's gonna. Okay. 
out. Uh, drivers were on. And that was just a waiting game. 0 0.7. Zero point eight mega energy. Uh, this is really good. Yeah, this is not an exciting game uh, some of the time. This yellow canister here collects uh, cold plasma gas, so it's useful. Uh, we're going to fill it up, close the valve, connect, insert it, and turn it on. Now let's go over here to the... And as you can see, that inserting that tank increased the power output from 246 kilowatts to 770 kilowatts. The station can run on that uh, indefinitely. Let's switch on the output. Uh, for some reason, uh, you can't set the output to automatic, which means uh, every time the store power storage units run out of power, have to manually turn them back on. It's actually kind of annoying. Anyways, let's go back there. Oh, forgot to eat, eat food. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh we're good. As you can see here, okay. And we are active. Uh, we're gonna turn on the injectors, turn on the scrubbers. All right, now, as you can see, uh, the field mega energy has jumped up to a thousand. Uh, we can see that the deuterium and tritium are reacting to produce selenium and uh, deuterium. That then reacts again with the dilithium and becomes deuterium tritium again. Now then, let's go outside. Now then, uh, we see that plasma is being input. Uh, the output, uh, the plasma temperature right now is 79 degrees. Uh, I'm gonna tell them, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna turn off the pumps that are feeding the system because we don't really don't need it this much. Really don't need uh, a lot of plasma. Uh, once the uh, temperature starts getting ridiculous, the, the pressure will start. Six five four ones should increase with time as the temperature increases. And we're already at 101 degrees Celsius.
object. Uh, you know, raise the injection rate substantially. And that, that should be enough. Let's just say uh, a mis uh, an easy mistake to make is go into the machine and it will easily reach uh, ridiculous temperatures. Oh, here we go. We got a thousand degrees, uh, twelve hundred degrees. Okay, cool. okay. The radiation from this is screwing me up. I should not have. Okay, we. Okay, I need to. I need to get some food and medical. <laughs> uh, medical help. Basically, all right. Uh, 2,000 degrees. High levels of radiation detected near the station. Please evacuate into one of the shielded maintenance tunnels. Attention, new command report created. Uh, shut down. Well, uh, this right now is a uh, bottleneck. Uh, I gotta admit that. So, okay, let's see here. Okay, there we go. At uh, two megawatts. gonna do a really complicated thing here so don't matter anyways okay so as we can see here the the machine has now reached uh, 12,000 degrees which I'm about 13,000 and the output um, coolant the, the cold side is reaching six south uh, 6.5 K Celsius so this is online. Uh, I'm going in. I'm going to med bay just to get my shit taken care of.
cold side is at 7.2 K Celsius. Hot side is at 20 K. So right now we are diagnosing the problem with the coolant loop, which will allow me I'll explain what the problem is here real quick. Uh, essentially, oh, excuse me. Uh, as you can see here, the left side of the TEG uh, thermoelectric generator is working fine. Uh, it's got 31 flow, 31 percent flow capacity. The right circulator, however, is basically fucked. Um, it is. It's at zero percent capacity, which is not enough. Uh, so first of all, some bike meters to see what the fuck is going on.
guessing they're Yeah, we got a bug here. Attention, new command report created. Attention, new command report created.
Okay, I think we're done. Okay, so now that it's finished, uh, just to recap. Uh, number one, you need the fuel injector. Uh, number two, you need to build the port control computer and remote controllers. Uh, number three, you need to build the fuel compressor, get some compressed matter cartridges, and do that. Uh, number four, uh, weld the gyrotrons and link them to the gyrotron controller. Attention, new command report created. And turn them on. that the oh, right off my internals uh, pipe the injectors up to the uh, the injectors and scrubbers up to the hot loop of the thermoelectric generator uh, build a substantial cooling loop and there you have it a functioning super uh, no, not super matter, uh, rust engine. And we're getting about 18 megawatts.